Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Run With Ours Pokemon channel. My name is Mark, and today we're doing another 1,000-pack opening for Burning Shadows. Um, I have some guests with me here today. I will introduce them in order. Uh, Robert, would you like to say hello? Yeah, hello. Uh, we have uh, Jessica with us today. Jessica? Hello. And last, we have Brian. Brian, would you like to say hi? Hey. All right. Well, you guys know the drill. You've seen the other pack openings. We're just going to go right into it. But we will uh, we'll start off with this Cosmic Corpse first here. Mark, you didn't do your introduction. I did, too. You guys just can't hear it because I didn't have you on uh, the talk. All right. It's quite enough of that. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Yeah, no kidding. Rev Malamar. Nope. Close. Oh, close, but no cigar. Rotor motor, or roto motor. All right, let's get into the burning shadows. The 11 locked will come first, so the, here's where we'll get our best stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Well, we got a quite a while ahead of us, so let's uh, let's get a discussion going. Jess, is there anything? And those those Rev Guzmas trade for one sword and shield, even. They do. Jess, do you have anything you want to talk about? Um, you're the the new guest to. The video um yeah what um so the new rebel See the Flash set that came out what um what are there any cards that kind of like stand out to anyone yeah from rebel clash uh yes. yeah it's a man called giovanni you know the boss yeah boss's orders oh yeah i saw that card um it lets you switch like um, it pre it's pretty much like a super scoop up, but without the coin flip. Oh no, that's that scoop up, Ned. That's really good too. No, we're talking about this. We're talking about the new Lysander. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take a second here, real fast, guys. I'm gonna turn. Oh, Rainbow Blue. Yeah, right out the gate there. Well, that's never going away. I'm going to turn down... Jeez. Oh, I'm going to turn down you a little bit, Darren. You're pretty loud. That makes sense. Okay, sorry. Is that you? No, no, it was, it was my fault. I had you up to like 200%. Whoa. <laughs> No one can handle that 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 volume of Bobbert. Agreed. So at this point, I think we pulled pretty much everything. There's only there's only like four cards that we haven't gotten out of the set. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, continue continue what from uh, Jess was saying. Yeah, boss's orders is like a it's pretty it's just Lysander. Is what it's going to be. But uh, Lysander is, is a great card. A gusting supporter is always found its weight in every deck. I see the. Well, it's going to be really good, especially since we have the, uh, the Elgidas V. You can just bring it. I see the glass spot. You can just bring it from your discard back to your hand, basically whenever you feel like it. Mm-hmm. Now I remember, Dan. Those uh, those first twelve packs were locked. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, we're stuck with that rainbow bulu. That rainbow bulu, the glissopod, the muck, and the reverse Guzma. That's fine. We'll get more. Mm-hmm. Uh, it so was only 11 that were locked. 
We're, we've already opened 22. I think some of that stuff wasn't locked. Yeah, it might, it might not have been. It might not have been. Uh, some, other, some other cards from Rebel Clash, though. Uh, besides boss's orders, um, what is it? Scoop up net is gonna cause Broken. a lot of problems. See the full art. Well, at least in the expanded area, it would. But I think uh, see the full art, Noivern. They'll handle it. That's the one I was thinking of. Oh yeah, <laughs> see the full art, Salazzle. It's really funny because I have them written written on the sheet in alphabetical order. So on the sheet it went Necrozma, Noivern, Salazzle. Just like check, check, check. Hey, not bad. Yeah, that uh, that Elgigas or Utagas, whatever you want to call it, it'll, uh, you know, that, that card's really good. Like I said, you'll see a surgence of that. And then the people that can't play or afford the Eldegoss, We'll be playing the uh, minor port Mewtwo with the a ring ring. With uh, Top Swap Monkey. Right. Are there any cards in this set that you think will... Um, I personally, I'm really weird and I like Malmar even though it's really inconsistent right now. Do you think that there are any cards in this set that will kind of, that could improve it? Maybe... I mean, yeah, Malamar V Max is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty sure it's a dark type, though. Is it a dark? It is a dark. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you can still just evolve it over a Malamar, though, right? Or it has to be the V. That'd be the V. Hmm. Well, I don't know. People will probably try to find a way to make it work with Mewtwo because it makes the the Marnie, Trevenant, Dusknoir, Nightwatch strategy even stronger. All right. And one thing I haven't heard people talking about is uh, it's a twin energy, actually. It provides two colorless energy, but the cards attached to Pokemon V or GX, it provides one energy instead. Old so stretcher. He... This gets like a uh, eight enter, eight double colors and expanded. Uh, yeah, that that's what it is. It's eight double colorless and expanded. <laughs> Whatever you said. They're not missing it. it, it, it not anymore. I don't know what it was. That's why I was asking. What did you uh, What did you necessarily say? Um, as far as standard, though, there are some applications for that card. Uh, Mark and I have been talking about how huh? Lost March could make a comeback. Oh. Because of the um, because of the cottony. Okay, I got it. Because the cottony will hit the uh, the ADP for weakness. And if the deck flows right, you should be able to take that knockout by turn two. Yeah, you will be able to. I really, uh, I have high hopes for that deck. I don't know about uh, expectations. I don't know about that. But... I mean, you'll lose to Mill, but. What isn't losing to Mill right now? Mill even loses the Mill, bro. Uh, I'm just tired of resource management or Rangaroo. They can't rotate fast enough. See the full art like. Yeah, that thing can uh, have a go here. Oh, wow. Uh... New stadium for uh, jump bluff, though. See the Charizard. We didn't. We didn't. Oh, go ahead, It'll Jess. still be an expanded, though. Uh, yeah, I think it needs to be banned and expanded. 100%. There's just too many cards that you can recur and expanded that are too powerful. Mainly dolls. I mean, that's that's the big one. Um, I think other V's. Uh, the Dragapult's pretty good. 
the Dragapult is seeing a lot of success in Japan right now with the uh, with the scoop up nets and the horror energy is it uh it's pretty good. Guys, knock it off. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Hey. Well, I was gonna say we didn't get a chance to play our game. I was uh. I was going to say we could have broke it up into uh, quarters, the first 250s. So I think I think we should still do that. But I think, Jess, well. I think Jess gets the first we'll, 250. We'll give Jess the first 250 then. That's fine. Yeah. See the regular. We'll give Jess the first 250, Brian the next, then we'll do uh, you, then me. Basically, if you pull two secret energies, you probably win. Three? Oh, see the full art, Bulu. What's really weird about this is we've already pulled every full art in just the 65 that we've opened right here that we didn't get in a thousand packs last video. See the soft. Yeah, that is that is strange. Yeah, the last thousand we didn't get a full art Noivern, a full art Bulu, a full art Necrozma. I can't really expect to get everything. Well, I that... know it's just weird how we've gotten all the full arts we didn't get this fast. I see the regular. It kind of kind of branching on what Brian was saying earlier about twin energy. Yeah, twin is uh, it's just so good because now you pretty much have double DC with a few exceptions and expanded. Yeah, now you don't have to mess around like counter energy and be like behind on a prize. Decks can just play you know four twin energies and four DCs now. Does twin energy work like counter energy? No, no, I'm saying you don't have to mess with like stuff like counter energy no more. Where you had to be behind on prizes to get it. Now you can just have four DCs and not um, have to run. I think people typically only use the counter energies when they have an attack that has two different energy costs. See the hyper machine. Yeah, yeah, I got you, but It's only colorless, right? No, count energy. No, the twin, twin energy. It provides yeah. any two type of energy. The twin energy is just colorless, yeah. Okay. Right. Well, okay. Yeah, counter is any, any two energy if you're behind on prizes. So then what decks would be using the twin energy? Uh, right out... Right out the gate, Night March, or uh, well, March. Well, both uh, what are the... Uh, you guys seen the new Night March-like deck that's coming out here in the next couple sets? Yeah, Mad Party. Mad Party. I don't know if that uses two colorless, but if it does, it'll be really good in that. It depends on what typings that we get for it. If we get like a Fairy, a Psychic, and like a Fire, oh yeah. There's already a Psychic in the colorless for it. Yeah, we have Psychic for sure. Well, then that's a step in the right direction. We're not going to get a Fairy because they're done with Fairy for now. Yeah. In, which is why in real life, Fairy energies are so expensive. But online, they're worth pennies. Not much. Oh, this is about, we could um, ask Jess this question because we uh, we all got a chance to answer last time. Jess, we, I don't know if you watched our videos, but we asked the question of what is the greatest accomplishment that you have had in Pokemon? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a win or a top, just, you know, a time where you, you really felt like you got somewhere or you got something you really wanted out of Pokemon. Would you uh, feel comfortable answering it? 
Um, yes, I, this is going to sound like a really uh, stupid answer, and it's not really an accomplishment. Well, for me it is, but I got to make quite a few friends. No, that's not a stupid answer. No, that's one of the best things that have come from playing card games for me in my life is the people I've met. I see the regular ho Yeah, same here. I mean, I've met all my friends pretty much through Pokemon. I mean, you guys are really good friends of mine. Mark's my best friend, and I met all of you guys through card games. I met Mark six years ago through Yu-Gi-Oh. See the Marshad. <clears throat> so no, that's that's not stupid at all. That's actually a really really good answer. Did we just get the first hundred there? I believe so. Yeah, right there. This is the first hundred. Okay. Not bad. A secret energy right in the first hundred, though. And it was a dark. That was uh, 18 hits in the first hundred. Wow. Really? Yeah. And the dark was really nice, yeah. I used to play the video games competitively, but there really wasn't a whole lot of people in the area who did the same thing, so I couldn't really find any oh. friends that way. You played VCG? Yes. Ooh, that's interesting. We haven't, I don't know nothing about it. Uh, can you kind of tell us what it's like, Jess, like the environment and the competitive play? It's really toxic. You guys better stop before I come up there and bust both your asses. I haven't, um, well, it's been quite a few years, like, um, since, like, 2016 that I've been playing competitively, so I can't really say anything about it now, no. but it was pretty much the same. It's kind of like how it is with the TCG, how everyone was using pretty much the same thing, the same Pokemon in their teams, and... See them up. Okay, so it was kind of like, what well, were our competitive decks where there's like two or three really good teams? We like two See or three across really good. Um, yeah, and those were the only ones right. that would like get anywhere. It's She's saying Xerneas was the only Volvo Pokemon. There were others, but yeah, in 2016, that was like the era of, uh, that was before. For Sun and Moon, right? Right before Sun and yes, Moon? Yes, it was. It was um, still in the X and Y era. Yeah, X and Y's competitive Pokemon was highly dominated by just a very small amount of Pokemon. I do remember that. Exactly. Oh, I've always, uh, I always found the VGC interesting. I don't think I could ever really get into it i've devoted too much time to other things but it's always it's always kind of fun to watch though it's a very con there's a lot of things about it that are very controversial but like what it what it is like you know as a whole is really it is a lot of fun i've done it before um just a, uh back in like back in like diamond and pearl i used to do it a little bit mm -hmm. but it wasn't anywhere near as like fine-tuned and developed as it is now right i mean you still had your iv training and stuff but now you have like other methods of training that get you there way well, faster it's a lot easier to train your pokemon now because you don't have to rely on luck as much yeah, yeah. you don't have more control so didn't wasn't there a time like when you were playing Pokemon that you would have to reset sometimes multiple hundreds of times to get the the right EV for your starter or what was that? Yes, unless if you um like use cheats or something. Of course. Well, a, a lot of times to get a perfect starter, people ju will just wait until they can hatch eggs. If they're not doing like a speed run or something, I see the salazzle. Oh, okay, so they would hatch eggs to get a. But if you starter. wanted your starter to be like perfect IVs, then yeah, you would have to keep restarting the game. But no one does that. Okay. 
Well, it takes tons of resets just to get a female, usually. <laughs> I could say I, could, I raced that about 3,000 times for a shiny Giratina one time. Really? I soft reset half the summer. So I don't know how many soft resets it was. Probably a few thousand for uh, shiny shiny Ray and Emerald. Whew. But, but oddly enough, in that same playthrough, I wasn't even soft resetting, and my first Kyogre encounter was shiny. That's also, wild. The thing is, uh, you know, for like the past, the past like four years I've been playing Pokemon, I haven't really seen like one VGC event at all around this area. Exactly. You go up, you have a ton, but there's like it's just kind of dead around here. Yes, mm. exactly. You typically have to go to like OSU a lot. Yeah. They have a lot of VGC events there. They that actually, is a drive. You know yeah, what? When what? I was a teenager, do you think that I that I was able to drive all the way down there? No. I'm not saying that. I'm just know, saying I'm that's saying where like... the competitive scene is. I see the noise. Yeah, there was, um, you know, uh, Robert brought up a good uh, thing there. We went to a cup at OSU. and Dude, Dolly. There was the whole bottom, like, their basement area. They had a room in the back, and it was just cram full of VGC players. See the Mars Shadow. And, I, you know... I've not seen any event like that around here for VGC. That was the only place where I've seen it that time. See the match. Yeah, I haven't either. And I and I thought about doing it, but just haven't got to it. N not enough interest around there. No, you never know. You could yeah. try. It's it's just way way see the fuller bulu way too much of a time investment if you don't hack your Pokemon. Way too much of a time oh, investment. Oh, definitely. Now, can they not tell the difference between like uh, hack Pokemon and not in the in the the tournaments, or how's that work? No. Sometimes. I mean, it's no. It's it sometimes it's distinguishable, but usually, if they're really good at it, it's not. I mean, is it is it just frowned upon, or is it actually just not allowed? No, a lot of people do it. It's frowned upon, but frankly, I, I personally don't think it should be. And my reason for that is this. You can spend six months grinding and EV training and working on a perfect team, and then out of nowhere, something better comes up, and there's an event in a week. Right. And you don't have... Well, if you're an adult working a full-time job, possibly going to school raising kids, doing whatever you're doing in your adult life, you you don't have enough time to play Pokemon competitively, raising your Pokemon naturally. There's no, just, don't. there's no way. And most people actually don't. They just, um, they just pretended like they did. I personally, I personally believe at competitive events, your skill should be what matters. Not, I mean, the time I see the uh, rainbow across uh, the time you put into it matters, sure, but I believe it should be your skill that matters. Um, so I think they should just let you generate a team. I see the Mars Shadow. I think they should just let you generate a team where everybody has perfect IVs and just battle. That's what I feel like they should do. Yeah, I guess at that point, if if there's one solid team, then I mean. I guess it could just come down to like RNG, but like, do you, I mean, do you think that's, that's fine? I mean, of course I'm on the side of, you shouldn't take six months of doing that, but if someone just goes in and everybody rolls the same team or has the same legendaries and whatnot in there, at, at some point it just comes down to RNG, kind of like, you know, almost a mere match if both players are equally skilled in the TCG. I mean, yeah, the actual battles themselves are, well, it, it's heavily RNG, but or you could just be like me, and I'm not saying, hey kids, don't cheat, but you could just be like me, go on eBay, uh, and buy so more dittos by V. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You can also buy um, shiny Pokemon online. And a lot of people do. Yes. But like, okay, so you, if you can buy them online, can't you just make shinies? I mean, I don't know how that works. There's no, if you're breeding with a shiny, you cut the chance, 
what is it like in like it's like but it's still a very very low um, by a member like if you're doing the method I it's, think like it's, like it's like one in 600 it's like one in 400 or around there yeah well they made an item called the shiny charm that gives you some small percent of increased chance to hatch a shiny if it, if the parent's holding it but then there's a glitch see the golly where if you use a japanese pokemon and uh and an english pokemon it's called the masuda method you cut the chance of hatching a shiny and like actually it's just any foreign pokemon oh any any foreign sorry that was my bad any foreign That's pokemon fine. yeah you cut the chance like way way down from it's supposed to be one in 16,000 and you cut it down to like one in 8,000 and then i think with the shiny charm you cut it down a lot more yeah it's like so, 600 now so just to clarify you can't just create a shiny like how you can affect evs and stuff like that you can't just go in there and hack in a shiny into the game right but, oh no you can you can 100 percent no, just generate pokemon no, you, can. you can you can generate pokemon on your computer for a program. but um but then why would you, you ever buy something this, off ebay if you wanted to do this all naturally, it. it would take forever Well, I'm just saying, if you can if you can make the Pokemon and get all this stuff yourself, why would you ever yeah. want to buy the stuff online? That's not I'm everybody saying. knows how to do it. It's oh, okay. it's not exactly an easy thing to do. Okay, that's I didn't know how difficult it's it was. It's technically um, like you could get your um, console um, bricked or something by Nintendo if they catch you using. Um, not on the older consoles, obviously, but like if you try hacking into your Nintendo Switch and like putting cheats in in, in the games, then they're going to probably break the game. See the dark the console. I I got what you're saying. If, if they catch you doing that, they'll just ban you. No, I traded all the other fifteen for a sword and shield apiece. Please, more dark cry. Yeah, we'll take. Every Mars Shadow GX and Darkrai GX. If they were all those, they'd be fine. Yeah, those and Charizard. Th those are the three GXs that trade the best out of here, the regular arts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely learned something different about the VGC, though. Yeah, it's it's just crazy, and typically the winners do cheat. But I just I just don't think it yep. should be viewed as cheating. An adult who's in college, working a full time job or raising kids, doesn't have time to put forty plus hours a week into a Pokemon game. Well, do you, don't you think that's kind of the price tag that would come with being in a competitive play? That if you are doing it competitive, you have to put that amount of time into it. No, it's impossible. Trust me. Okay, so you need to get six Pokemon. You need one of those, all, each of those Pokemon need to have six perfect IVs. Mm -hmm. That is a, that's a lot of work. I well, I, I get what you're saying. It can take months. Yeah, it can but what, literally I, take months. what I'm saying is if, if your profession is strictly um, a professional card player or a professional speedrunner or what, whatever it may be video game wise. Don't, don't you think that the time that they put into it should be valued higher than someone else coming in just wanting to play? Because at that point, you know, you're, you're kind of taking their job from doing it if everybody else can do it at that point. Like, does it most of the, value their most job? Most of the professionals do just hack their Pokemon. Well, and that's fair. I but, Cosmo. And that's fair. I, I understand that. But if let's, let's say we didn't do that and you had to do it the hard way, it would, you know, and what I'm saying is it devalues their their job, I guess. If they if they seek a professional card playing game and then you went to Pokemon and just say they gave you a card pool you can use, you know. Well, it would change things, but I think that's how it should be because I think that gives the people who the people who follow the rules, who don't have the time, 
it puts them at such a disadvantage to like these kids who are 16 years old and do nothing but go to school and can play Pokemon for a hundred hours a week. Mm -hmm. But since they actually have the time, don't you think that's fair? Like they, they put the time into getting it and the effort. Don't you think that gives them like the level of profession that you would put into like your profession? Say you, you know, I see the guardian. Say you build houses for a living, you know, and, you know, you put hundreds of hours in designing a, a mansion, you know, that, that values, values your time. There we go. See the full art dark room. That values your time, if that makes sense. I mean, I don't know. I, I just think a lot of things need to be changed about the BCG. Oh, I know. know, I know. All of us work and we saw. I see the goal. Really What was that, Brian? I said all of us work and have a job and go to school, but we always still have enough time to play Pokemon still. Mm -hmm. I make time. But it, I think I think you're underestimating how much time it really takes to train a team for a tournament oh, no, I the get right it. way. Yeah, no, it I takes get it. it could take an astronomical take, amount of time. It could take it could take a couple weeks to get it there, or it can take six months. I get it. It can, but if you really know what you're doing and you can you know, really turn about it, I'd say you can get it ready in under a week. Yeah, see, that's that's what I was thinking. I, I used to read a lot under. in uh, Alpha Sapphire. That's like my that was like my my passion was breeding. Okay, the so only game I ever put a lot of time breeding in was Diamond. I tried to breed for perfect IV Gibbles. Well, I, I hear what Dan Brian. Do you do you understand what I was saying? I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, but like, you know, if that's someone's like profession they've changed and do and they put their time in it, they just feel like their time could be squandered if everybody else could do it too. It's like, you know, picking up a card game and being naturally good at it and be as good as a pro like right out the gate is one thing. But in a video game, like if everybody can just hack in like hack in what they want and go play, then it de like I said, it devalues their time and effort. That they put into those Pokemon. Not saying that they can't do it the right way, anyways, but at that point, if eighty percent of the people are just hacking in their Pokemon, right? Then why shouldn't they do it? Like it just why be a professional? That's why I personally feel like it should be. You go to the event, you just create your team. See the slide. Yeah, I agree. No, I could see that. That's what I was thinking. That's what that's what I think it should be. Pretty much saying that the cheaters basically rule the game. Oh well, yeah, that's that's what the current system does, and that's why I think it's hey, real. I see a You still have um like the Smogan um Smogan you. Yes. Yeah. You still have that, that, but you don't have to make, you don't have to own... make a team. Well, you do, but it's you don't have to work for. It. See the yeah. Finny? Yeah, but like, see, like, say, um, take Pokemon, uh, was it Tekken, right? You know, you put time and effort into that game, and the only way that you can you get better... Pokemon tournament? Pokemon, Pokemon, I said Tekken, didn't I? Pokemon tournament. Yes. <laughs> well, it's 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 a play on Tekken, the name is, but... Uh, it is, yeah. But what I'm saying is, you can't just pick, you can pick that up and be good at it, but it takes time and actually have to play the game to get good at it. You can't just cheat yourself into being better at that game. Well, fighting games are entirely different. Fighting games, the best character changes over time because people discover new things. Like three years ago in Pokémon, the best character was like Mega Mega Sceptile. And now like Gengar and uh, see the Gold Stretcher and um, one and Mewtwo are like the best too and it, and it just changes okay mark let me make this mm -hmm. clear sure so you cannot just pick up a pokemon game and be an expert at it immediately like i'm not i'm not i know you're not saying that but i've been playing pokemon for my entire well, life you can just say this and, is um, i mean i understand you can't pick up and know how to battle i know that you have there's so much that goes into battle mechanics. It's mm -hmm. insane. 
And as a kid, you just, you can't understand it. It doesn't really make sense until you, like, become a teenager. Right. Well, well I'm saying the is... more time that you spend battling, the more experience that you get and the more that you get to understand um, the way that the battle mechanics work. Does right. that make sense? Yeah, no, that's right. Well, what I'm saying is, is, like, if everybody was at the same competitive level, but someone worked harder to get theirs and the other person just showed them like, yeah, I, I built this team last night in 10 minutes because I just put my Pokemon in. I plugged them in through the computer or, or um, whatever, hacked them in. That's, that's what I was saying. If you take someone at equal skill level, it devalues the person who professionally does it for hours, hundreds of hours versus the person who just like, yeah, dude, I, I put all this together last night and you know, before I went to bed. I don't know. My my take on that is, they're not gonna. You're not gonna get paid enough money to play Pokemon to make a living. Not, oh, for sure, yeah. for sure. No. There's no way you can win every event like Wolf Glick. You can win every event, almost every event, the entire year, and that's still probably not enough to get you through the whole year. Uh, not if you live by yourself. Probably not. Say forty thousand is pretty good. You can live off forty thousand, but you still have to pay your taxes on it at the end of the year. So realistically, it'll be like twenty, twenty-five thousand. So that, in my, so the way I see it is like, why would you put hundreds and hundreds of hours into something that a you're you're probably not gonna win because the best players cheat, or and like even if you do win, the money's just not worth it. Sure. Okay, we're getting near the first two. Here's another here. thing to keep in mind: most of the people who play the BCG are like either upper middle class teenagers or like really well off. Like, okay, just I don't think I've ever seen. But uh, we, we, I said, I, I just pause that if you could for a second, Jess. I'm sorry. Um, this is the first two fifty here. So, Darian, whatever you got to write for hers, that's uh, that's the end of hers. We're going into uh, Brian's air quote 250. To brains. Okay. I'm just going to say whoever pulls. I'm just going to count golds, secrets, and full art supporters. And yeah. I'll just make that. And, and then I'll just figure out who has like the highest spread of that at the end. Okay, Jessica, go ahead. Continue with your statement. What I'm trying to say is that they, they're not doing it for a living. They're doing it because... It's for a leisurely thing. Most Steve people Holland. don't do it for like a living. Like some people with the trading card game do. Oh, someone might have gave us a secret psychic. Or well, it could be. We'll check it later. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Jess. Most of the people, a lot of the people who play it, they just play it for something to do because they have that that the time to invest into it. Right. Yeah, like I'm saying, these are people who don't have to who don't have to do anything for themselves really. So they have a lot of time on their hands to do this. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, I was just seeing, you know, I was just trying to argue from a different standpoint. No, I understand. That's not actually how I feel. I just was saying what, you know, how would how would you uh, view it from that, from that point? Honestly, you can't make everyone happy. Like, that's just the mm -hmm. way it is, I guess. I mean, if someone wants to spend that amount of time and do that, hey, that's their prerogative, but I think they should just know that there's other people who are not going to do that. Right. And, and is that fair? No. That's why I think the only thing that could make it fair is for everybody to just be able to generate their Pokemon when they go to the event and battle. Because the time put into it matters, but really when it comes down to it, it's just the battling that matters. I think that the reason why not a whole lot of people play DCG is because of the time investment that you need to put into it. See the Necrozma. I was like going to say, 
go watch a VGC stream and see how many shiny Pokemon you see. All of them will probably be shiny. Most of them, yeah. What is it? Well, oh, I didn't even ask that. What is it about shinies? Are they just got better IVs usually, or what's up with those? They're a different color. That's really That's it. That's all it is. No, oh, it I doesn't but, change. But their anything. stats are slightly higher. No, it don't matter about the stats. It's just they're a different color. Let's see, that's what I was thinking. It just said the stats are higher than everybody. Art generated Pokemon. People typically just make them shiny because they can. Usually, yeah. So, like Groudon, he's red. See the but dark. Because shiny, he's like yellow. And people seem to like that. That's gold, Brian. He's gold. Oh, I said yellow. Gold. And Kyogre's pink. Yes, pink. But it's like a, it, was, it is like a yellowish, yellowish green. I have no idea. But uh, I think, what is it? Is Voltor blue? Is that what it was? Shiny Voltor. Yeah, it is. That's yeah, cool. it's like a really light, kind of like an electric blue. Say no, and Rekraza is black. Rekraza is black for a shiny. Black and that's gold. Pretty, uh, oh, really? That's neat. Black and gold, that's a pretty popular. Houndoom is purple. Ooh. Houndoom is my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, oh. Houndoom is a cool Pokemon. He is cool. He is quite literally a hellhound. Yep. Yeah, I think that he is. is what he is. I don't know. I think it's hard for me to pick an absolute favorite, but uh, I do love Gengar. I do love Sneasel. See the Machamp. I don't love him. Mm. He's grown to be one of my favorites, which is funny. Machamp's that boy. I've just been. I've just gotten tired of seeing his face the last week. Yeah, he don't do nothing but just collect, like collect in large numbers. I mean, it's nope. not that they're. Tr People They're trading them. a little bit, but... Oh, I see. I just, every time we get a rainbow Machamp, I'm like, man, that could have been... Stop, I can see you. Anything I can else. see everything that you're doing. <laughs> see the ho-ho. <laughs> Alright, well, we've officially gotten... Oh, we'll see the full soft. What's that now? We've officially gotten at least one of every regular art. Ooh. Oh, like in all, over all the packs? The, just we since this opening. See the oh, dark okay. okay. So, all in all, we're still only missing... Let's see, we have not pulled Gold Super Scoop up. Mm-mm. Gold Choice Band. Right. Uh, Rainbow Muck. Rainbow Golisopod. And that's it. Those are the only four cards we have not... Oh, and Secret Fairy. So there's five cards we have not pulled. And obviously they're all secret rares. <laughs> I mean, let's just think about that for a second, though. Imagine opening up these 2,500 packs. 2,500 ish shy of a you know, 20 or 30 but uh imagine not getting every card we probably still won't oh i i believe it but that's like can you imagine opening up 2500 packs and not getting everything IRL? people have done it i've watched openings i watched darian's pokemon open 2,000 or 3,000 Hidden Fates before they finally got the Gold Coco. Wow. I was like the only thing they were missing for thousands of packs. I muted it, honey. I don't know, look at the TV on your room. I can't even stop, I can see you up there. Go to bed! 
Jesus, I think. I remember one time I caught it with an me. extreme, like, Jesus. a gold. Um, it may have been a Tapu Coco. It was a really expensive card. And guess who I gave it to? Uh, On accident, way. not knowing. Brain? Yes. Brian. Brian, did you steal that woman's gold Coco? No, I gave it to him. You, how much were those on, uh, how much were those? They were like 35, 40 on release. Oh, I think they're more than that. For gold? They well, have when, when they were super, super scarce, like when no one had the Hidden Fates, they were like 65, 70. But they settled down to around 35. And now they're like 25, 30 bucks, I think. That's not bad for a gold. They may they may not even be that much right now. I honestly don't remember. I see the Galissa Bud. Uh, again, at the um, halfway mark here, after we're done doing Brian's two fifty, uh, we're going to take like just a five or ten minute uh, ten minute siesta. Um, so what are some decks that are maybe not doing very good right now competitively that might um, start to see some play after? Well, that's a good question. Uh, you know, a lot of decks right now just can't beat Mill. No, they can't. And as soon as Mill becomes less than what it is, they might have more of a chance. There's no real way to beat Mill besides running a constant gust like Nine Tails or uh, even like Blounds to where you, uh, what's that called? Stinger GX where you put them to three, right? Mm hmm. And then you use Baby Blacephalon. That's one way to beat them, yeah. See the Noivern. I mean, that that could just be a really good call right now. Also, Reshi can do it because of the nine tails. They can take take out two Zossians. Ability Zard can win. It's a little harder for Green Zard because you only get double custom twice. Right. Speaking of Zard, see... Um... Let's see, what's one of my more favorite decks that I, I wish did better? Maybe could do better. I really like uh I really like the team up Charizard. I tried to make it work for a while. There's finally enough pieces that it could probably work, but Well Rosa fixed everything, dude. Well, that and Quick Ball. Yeah. Rosa and Quick Ball fixed a lot in that deck. Unfortunately, there's just a one prize fire attacker that hits just as much, if not more, that does it better. Yeah. And we all know who that is. Yeah, but the thing, with the, the thing with the Zard is it can it can go in at, you know, 180 just for attaching Roy Resolve twice, which is really good. Not saying you even manually attach to the Charmander before. Yeah, it can hit some really, really high numbers. What are we talking about? Team up Charizard with the right. Uh, team up Charizard can continuous plays ball. See the. Oh yeah, I thought that'd be a lot more popular with uh, Rosa when that came out, but. It's just the baby blinds. It's they're just more consistent. It's a basic versus a stage two. Yep. See. The... Yeah, with the Rosa though, you can always hit 180. Yeah. So, oh, there, there's one card we have not gotten yep. so far. Rainbow Gully. We already had one from when I traded for it a long time ago. but Yeah, just for the pack opening. Yeah, I'll uh, further on uh, the statement about the mill decks being a huge problem. It, uh, I, I get that there has to be different wind conditions a lot 
in games like if there's a deck out win condition or how many cards in your hand win condition or you know what whatever it may be like energy denial then they deck you out control you know that stuff does just have to exist in the game but man it's it's really hard if like because not everybody's playing mill so if you go outside to beat something with mill and then you run into a bunch of like adp you could end up just like getting wiped out right there because you ended up teching for mostly mill. See the Rambo Guardi? That seems to be a lot of my problems when I go to regionals. I I don't I don't know the tech for and then when I do tech for it, I just never, just never play it against it. Just all right. <clears throat> right. I think that a big problem with the mill decks also is the um Lily's Poke Doll. Doll well, is fine. If they only get four of them, Doll is fine. But agreed. the problem is they get an infinite amount. See the well, theoretically infinite, but they get six chance. They get five chances with a Rangaroo, which means you got to play through. If they did Doll every time, you got to play through eighteen Pokey Dolls, and that's where it gets ridiculous. Yeah, and that's that's what I'm talking about. Especially if you don't have a way. Of gusting them. See the gun. And baby blounds, the way you beat beat mill, and it doesn't always work because if there's if they have everything they need at the right time, they can just afford to bell elba away their Pokemon. But the way you beat it with baby blounds is with Mew to knock out their Mew and then Cramorant to snipe. But then you have to Mew them again in a couple turns because they're just gonna put it back down. Mm-hmm. I find that um, with the mill decks that they're always able to be played perfectly. They typically have everything they need because of Chinchino and Zassian, but but not always. No, the deck sometimes they have. Sometimes they have to make a play that they don't really want to, just to make oh, oh see the Kelly, just to make sure, uh, like what, just to make sure what they need isn't getting knocked out. That's two floor supporters. Jesus, Plumeria, two floor supporters in a row. Pretty happy about that. Yeah, it's a... a full art guy, you know? Yeah, Brian likes his... That team. is true. So, how are we making this a contest? Whoever you... pulls in context, the regular arts don't really matter. The full art Pokemon don't really matter either. But whoever pulls more in combination of full art supporters... I see the Marshadow... Rainbow Rare Pokemon, Gold Trainers, or Secret Energy. What do they want? Oh, it's just for fun. Okay. It's not like a competition like that. It, 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 it's all going to the same account. It's just for fun. Right. Bragging rights, right? Bragging rights. Rainbow Lycan Rock. Ooh, I'm killing it. Uh, I don't know, man. Jess is definitely winning. She got the dark. But if we get at least one energy for every 250, that would be awesome. But I'm expecting three. I see him. Oh, I'm one. winning. Yes, you had, you had a dark energy. The dark energy is the most valuable card in the set. Worth like the dark energy is worth like ten times most of the full art supporters. Yes. And twenty to thirty times more more than most of the, most of the rainbow Pokemon. In real life or in the online? Online. Online. Okay. I mean in real life secret rare dark energies are still Fifty-five, sixty dollars a piece. Yeah, all the secret energies are twenty bucks or more, I think. Mm 
Rainbow Salazzle. Yeah, you are getting the rainbows, Brian. Yeah, you are. Get the fire, Brian. Get the fire. Get the fire. Ah, screw that. Put one other dark. Yeah, I'll take all dark, but we're being realistic here. The we next... haven't gotten a fairy. Well, I'm fine with Five, that. Five, six secret rare energies and no fairy, which I'm fine with. Yeah, same. Now, it used to be complete, literally just two months ago, a fairy was worth a hundred of the current set. Yeah. Fairy was the most expensive secret energy online, bar none. It was twice as, as expensive uh, as dark. Yeah. And then as soon as they made the announcement about no more fairy Pokemon, the fairy energy online that just... Are you on? No, I can't do oh, that. how times change. Huh? It's like stocks. They just plummeted. Do you, do you want to know what I do when they're being bad? I take it. And when they're, we're doing, I go. I see the northern, oh, but that's why Mark and I are getting hard. twelve to twenty secret fairy, in case they skyrocket again. Yeah, and they it scatter like flies every time. All right, that works. I told you, because it's possible. All right, I'm unmuting it again. What situation? I, I see why they would just kill off a entire Arcade. entire line of energy they could still use in the future. Because nothing's allowed to be super effective against Dragon except for Ice. Well, Dragons. The Wagon. That's, yes, that's a given. Dragon is good against Dragon. And that's how it should have been. Mm-hmm. And then Ice, because Ice makes sense. But Fairy? <laughs> Get out of here. Everything's weak to steal, my guy. Everything. Hmm. Maybe rock. Maybe rock shouldn't be weak and steel. But I'm pretty sure if you get hit with a metal bat, everybody gets hurt. There are actually some things that steel isn't very effective against. That doesn't make any sense. Like lightning? Well, I still used to it. I'm pretty sure if you hit an electric Pokemon with a metal bat, you know. What, what, what is still not very effective against? Steel's not very effective against grass, is it? Uh, I don't know. Jess, you're the competitive player. In oh, the I game, thought we were talking about the TCG game. No, in in the in the actual games, what's steel like 0.25% effective against? Um, ground, I think. You're saying what's what is what is metal good against, not what's weak to. No, no, no. I know what it's good against. What is it not good against? I see the ho. -oh. Um. Water. Steel is not very effective against water. Or, um, electric. I believe. Yeah, it okay. does say it's resistant, right? Well, the card game and the and the video game are entirely different. Yeah, that's why I was wondering if you were talking what you were, if you were talking about the TCG game or the. There some similarities. Basically, yeah. if everything everything metal that isn't super effective against is gonna be neutral or not very effective. Hmm, I see. Brian, you have ninety-seven left. Uh, so I can get an energy. Well, I hope so too. I hope everybody gets energy, That's... or more. Yeah, we'll take more than four. We'll take all they'll give us. We like those. There's actually quite a bit of. Um, things that steel is not very effective against. That's what I thought. I didn't think it was very effective against grass. That still don't make any sense. But it's been a long time since I, I see Golly. But it's been a long time since I played the Pokemon. How is steel not super effective against everything? 
because it's just not. It's not a lawnmower. Well, you ever get hit by a bat? A metal bat? That's not what that means. I, if your body's made of metal and you're a metal pipe, it's it's essentially the same thing. I see the fire bird. Or just get whacked. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's that's how it works. Ryan, quit pulling venipedes. Yeah, stop. Sorry. Hey, if we were missing any reverses from this set, we have them now. We're not. We had them all like a thousand packs ago. <laughs> oh, no, I'm saying after all this is said and done, there should be nothing from Burning Shadows that we need common or uncommon. It'd be really cool to be able to do this for every set. I mean, obviously, we don't have that kind of money, but it'd be cool. See the Salazzle? We, we definitely could. If we waited to, like, the previous set to do it, or, like, two sets, we could do this every set. We could do a couple thousand of every set. Yeah, but it's just not a good way to try to pull cards. No, it's, it's for always for the sake of entertainment. Like, as far as, like, getting a massive amount of codes, I think Unified Minds takes the cake. Maybe. Took a lot of Unified Minds codes. See the noise. We, uh, we opened up a lot of Unified, yeah. Not opened them. We just got the codes and traded them. Oh, and you it was all trading. Out. What was yeah. that we opened a lot of? Was it Celestial Storm? Yeah, but nothing's even close to Burning Shadows now. Well, no. I mean, comparison, no. Uh, Celestial Storm, it was a bit. We opened a lot of Forbidden Light. Yeah. Forbidden Light was really nice to us. Celestial Storm has always, always hated us. Oh, yeah. that that It won't give us nothing. It won't. How much did you open? I don't think there's really anything good in that set. <laughs> exactly. There was. At the time, there was some stuff. Like, shrines were good to get. Shrines are still good to get. That was about it, like Shrine, Ray. See the Guardi. Hey, for about the first two weeks after Ray came out, Ray was really good. And then it sucked because mm -hmm. everybody started playing Guardi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Guardy GX too good. You got people like me who spent a hundred and ten dollars on their place out of Rayquaza GX when it first came out. Just just to get beat up by a fairy. Yeah. Oh, that deck was fun though. We still had Elixir. I played it with Toxin. That deck was fun. Mm -hmm. It was. That was interesting. The Toxin build was definitely the way to go with that. Even though I know some people might find it uh, counterproductive. Well, I mean, after Elixir rotated, you had to go Vicable, but You know, it's interesting. I just thought about this. So we have Garbo Toxin, right? Where it stops mm -hmm. all abilities. We have Mug, mm -hmm. which stops basic abilities. We have, we're just talking about Pokemon going in stadiums like Silent Lab or a Power Plant. We have Slacking, which stops only your opponent's abilities if it's in the active, right? And we have a new Garbodor that does something similar. Yeah. And we have this new Garbodor. Do you think that they will ever make a Pokemon that will prevent stage one or two effects only? We've yet to see anything like that. I'm not saying it makes any sense. I'm just saying and it, it's interesting that we have basics and all, but we don't have specific stage ones or twos. At least not in expanded or in the current game in, in standard. Hmm. I don't know if there's maybe, ever... Maybe way back when. But yeah, there might be something like that. that. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying we haven't experienced it in our two formats that we play. Ryan, you're on quite the dry spell, friend. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's not really helping, though. 
Nah, it'll, it'll all take... pour in now. Watch. Gutsy hammer. Oh, yeah. I try to make that thing work. So did Kai, and he made Eddie very angry with it. Yeah. What happened? Oh, full up luck. I tried just, to make. Just a laugh of like from keeping your, your board starting. When Kyan, I see the Finny. When Kyan was still new to the game, he was playing Cardominable against Eddie North. And he had this cardominable on the bench that he kept putting fighting energy on, but he didn't show it. He just kept stacking the fighting energy underneath the cardominable. Oh, okay. So, so Eddie guzmud something and knocked it out. Like he knocked out one of his cardominables, thinking that the other one with energy, he could see an energy on that one, thinking, I see the guardy, thinking that uh, he like didn't have any energy on that cardominable. So he brought up the cardominable had like six energy hidden underneath it, and he knocked out his Zoro for game, and Eddie was pissed. Yeah, I mean, in, in defense, if you, like, are playing this game at a competitive level, you would have noticed it. Like, you would see them manually attaching the energy six times at least once. Just Eddie wasn't. Playing. I think Kyan was just real sly about it. I think he just slid it underneath there real quick. Well, maybe. That's six he times. Noticed. Yeah, he I wouldn't know. I think so. I just don't think Eddie was paying attention. And, and I'm not saying he was taking extra attachments. Maybe Eddie just thought he was missing attachments. I don't know. I'm about extra attachments. No, I'm just saying that I I think Eddie just wasn't taking the deck very serious and wasn't paying attention. That's that's probably yeah, realistically what, what happened. I mean, like it's like playing against I don't know what would you say. It's like playing against like a Toxicroak deck where it's got fighting. You just, you know, if you're playing a meta deck, you're not giving it any serious thought. And then and then you realize that they've gotten four energies. There it is. There's one of the only rainbows we haven't gotten. Word. And then you just realize, like, oh, man, I haven't even thought about that thing attacking. And it just claps you for, you know, 220. You ever go online? Just how the deck words would be. <laughs> what, Brian? I said, you ever go online and play? He's how the deck versus the deck beat you. Oh, yeah. See the golly. Brian, it's looking bleak. Uh, not really. He's pulled four rainbows and three full art supporters. Oh, I know. We need we need energies though. We're fainting. Oh, I, I see you say star. Uh, if you complain about it a lot, it might show up. Maybe. <laughs> did you pull that lichen rock, Brian? I did. Oh. Sorry, Brian's pulled five rainbows. Yeah. And three full art supporters. Brian Sage. But no energy and no golds. No energy and no golds. Jess is still beating you. Did you hear me, Brian? What's that? I said you say start fiending for codes. I already see the guard. I know, I said you saged it. We were fiending. Another one I haven't seen in forever is Full Art Guardy. We got one in the original 470 and it's been Almost two thousand, almost fifteen hundred packs since I've seen one. Jeez, has it been that many? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, maybe one secret energy out of a thousand. Don't say such terrible things. Yeah, it might hear you. We've gotten every rainbow now. Every rainbow Pokemon. So we need Super Scoop Up and Choice Band? Super Scoop Up, Choice Band, and Fairy. Wow. I kind of want to get the Fairy and the Choice Band and the Super Scoop Up. Just to say that we legitly pulled everything. I got 39 left. Ryan, you better pick it up. Yeah, you got to pick up the face. This is weak. These are rookie numbers. Jess has got you beat. It's, it's pretty whack. 
I know you pull six rainbows and it's it doesn't even touch her secret dark. It don't. Now, if you pulled like five, four Guzmas, we could talk. Yeah. Oh my god. Gutsy hammer. So many drink. Aren't you the full art guy, Brian? Where's the Guzma? If he gets, he's got. He's got what? Sophocles, Plumeria, and and Kiawe. And Kiawe. Show me the goozy. I was saying so many green codes. It's a lot of green codes, Brian. I don't think that's actually how it works. Just because it's white. In real life, doesn't mean it's white oh. online. Well, no, I'm oh. just saying, just much of regular rows, just green codes. Do you, do oh. you know how much white codes would be worth? <laughs> yeah, guaranteed hit, son. <laughs> That'd be wild. It would create a whole separate market, I guess, is, is what I'm getting at. Like, you would need. You would you would not need nowhere near as many green codes as you did white codes because you could just pull all your regular um, commons from white codes. Jessica, how do you feel about gurneys? What does that even mean? What? <laughs> I don't know. You pulled two of them, two gold gurneys. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that was a card. Rescue stretcher. It's a gurney. Okay, rescue. Okay. Sorry. It was a pretty odd question. You got three left, Brian. That's Two it. more after this one. What's it going to be, fella? Spaghetti mama? Let's see. And then what? Spaghetti mama. Oh. Disgusting. Disgusting. Pop. Last one, Brian. You ready? Dark. Right here. No, Mudsdale. Ryan, you've been beat by Jess. Yep. All right. Sorry, on, Brian. on to Bobberts. Oh, we're right. going to open these two here. This is my luck. And then uh, we're, we're going to take a five minute break, kids. All right. All right. All right. We'll be back shortly. Yep. No, you guys ain't taking a break. Your break's going to bed. She doesn't want your iPad. What you no. No? You guys have been up there fighting and screaming at each other. Hell no. Mom said no. Go way back down, guys. Go on. I don't know. I thought she was about to have it. Because that's all they've been doing. They're freaking screaming at each other. You're not going to have iPad. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Hello. Are we on board? Yeah, quick time. How do we know when it's over? I don't know, Mark it up. It's really quiet. I dream of you. Oh, yeah. You might come I 
said, fly me to the moon. Let me play amongst the stars. Let me see. It totally doesn't mesh with what I'm listening to right now. <laughs> Not even a little. Were you listening over bad bitch trap music? Poker face. Oh. <laughs> yeah, French Sinatra wouldn't be doing that. This. This is the buffs I was talking about. Is it? <laughs> Not that it's doing me any good, I'm still always, but. I just think sometimes you just can't get them. Yeah, sometimes you yeah, just lose. <laughs> Swear it is. That's what I mean. I think sometimes you just get fucked. <laughs> See that card on the screen? <laughs> yeah, that card kept knocking out my right quasars that I spent $110 on. I don't care. I'll play the next one. If you're playing with all friends. I guess, yeah. You're playing with a bunch of people. All I needed was one fairy. And you can write seven more people on the belt. That's what I don't know, seven people. I couldn't even have eight. Those were dark days. Or. But actually, yeah, we talk about those. I think we could find people that would be interested in this particular game. Mm -hmm. Also, one of Zoroark's best partners. Really should be the best. I don't believe in the fucking cows in my monsters. This is where I do a game all over this, right? You're human all over there. I don't know if it's a puberty thing or what. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'll put her scanning Joe's like this, and he's sitting right here. And he t every time I took his pencil up, I'd count to ten in my head. I'm like, dang, you, <laughs> you go like that. Then you start working again. I'm like, you don't think I can see? Like, I can see you. Because I told him to sit down and watch you do this. No, I said, I'll just scan the codes on them. Yeah. I got them every right time. Right here, yeah. Yeah, I got them every time. I do it too. I just, I, I don't talk about it either. I just stand over him. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. That I... Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back on this, okay? Everybody there? I'm here. Yes. Yeah, but I'm eating something. Okay. I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, Jess and Brian, if you can keep a little bit of a conversation. I'm. Uh, I grabbed a bite to eat too. I was a little famished, so um, just kind of, kind of talk a little bit for a couple minutes, if you could, please. Yeah, I can do that. I don't know what me and Jess talk about though. Keep the conversation going. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean, honestly, I think you guys are so sad. Hmm? What is your What is your favorite Pokemon and why? I'm way more entertaining with you. My favorite? I just well, I know that, but. I'm just what you doing? Well, you gotta think, honey. We just gave. Oh, you know my favorite. Brash of all the other. Boy, the cabbage. You know, Venusaur. You mean the salad? The salad, yes. Oh, I want salad. B G C. My favorite. Why is my favorite? I don't know. I just always kind of like. Them. That's why I like. I got the ghost snake too. It's his favorite Pokemon because you just always kind of like him. Yeah, that's how it is. Fair enough. I feel like he's a little underappreciated among it. 
Venusaur is my favorite starter. Well, Bulbasaur. I guess I made the shepherd fight. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you Talking favorite starters. That's easy. Mm -hmm. Total Isles, my dude. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. That's a first. It's kind of like it. A first. Yes. I see this one. I love Total Isle, Crocodile, and for Alligator. That's like. Probably my favorite. It's not my. As far as the whole line, it's not my favorite line, but yeah, as far I as like the play. basic, Total Isle is my favorite basic. Yeah. I'm Marsha. Saw the guardy. Sorry, I was taking a drink. I really like using Venusaur oh, awesome. um, competitively. That's why he's my favorite starter. Ah. Uh, good lord, that was like, was that five hits in a row? Or four? You do. No. Five. <laughs> my hand on my uh, from a competitive standpoint, <coughs> I don't know. I don't really played BCG, BCG in a long time, but like in just the video games, like regular playing. Oh, gold dumbbells. All right, we're back. And just regular playing the video game, I think my favorite evolved starter to like use in the games. God, I only played through Gen 4. I really liked Blaziken. And I really liked Sceptile. I just see Salazzle. I like both Blaziken and Sceptile. And for Alligator. Yeah, for Alligator is a cool Pokemon. Um, I think I may have mentioned this before, but Gen 2 is my favorite generation when it comes to Pokemon design. Gen 2 is just my favorite gen in, in general. I love Gen 2. <clears throat> like, most of my favorite Pokemon from, like, my top 10 are in Gen 2. Yeah, me too. I mean, in all fairness, I only played with Gen 1 and 2, so, you know, video game-wise. Mook. <clears throat> I'd give him the muck joke, but that's just too inappropriate. See, I'm not, Noivern, I'm not complaining, but we've only had three mucks. Hmm, that's a shame. It's not, though. That's actually a really good thing. <laughs> oh, I know. I was just going to say, don't you just hate it when that happens? You just pull more. Oh, well, there there's Fairy. That's our first one of those in nearly 2,500 packs. Yeah. Well, 2,000. But yeah, that's our. Right. Yeah, 2,000. Of course, I got it. All right. Well, that means Mark will probably get fire or dark. Hopefully. Hopefully dark. That's only two dark energy pulled, right? Yeah. Three? It's our second. No, nah, it's, yeah, it's our second. I still don't get how some of this stuff isn't as expensive. Like, choice band? I mean, like, we have done a very good sample size. We haven't done a perfect sample size. I think that'd be around. 10,000 packs for a perfect sample size. Yeah. But we've done a good one and we haven't got a scoop up or a choice band. I know it's random. See the Charizard. But like, I just, I'm surprised how cheap some things are online still. 
Yeah, I mean, it's when it doesn't when it isn't played in standard, it's automatic unless it's really really old. It mm. automatically just loses a lot of value. Oh yeah, unless your plasma freeze ultra ball. Well, most of those old secrets. By burning shadow secrets, no, they just really don't have a lot of value. To be fair, they don't have a lot of value in real life either. They don't. Choice bands and rescue stretchers are like $7 for golds. Mm -hmm. Just give it time. I mean, they're they're in that weird kind of like, uh, oh, here's a gold cool multi-switch. Oh, uh, multi-switch. Okay. Well, that's looking good for you, Bobber. An energy and a gold. An energy and two golds. Yeah. I got dumbbells, too. Oh, yeah. Big old dumbbells. Those two cards were played in Zorark, too. Zorark, like, and rock. Uh, dumbbells? I think so, right? Uh, you put dumbbells it up to played in Zoro. Dumbbells was played in Zoro Garb, I thought. No, it could be played in that, but I think you bumped your Zorark's HP up. It that could way, be played, yeah. That way you didn't get clapped by the Bulu for 210. You know how big old Bulu's were. Something I, I just thought of, theoretically, um, the Dang, cards in the... Paper. The cards on the online TCG game are theoretically more expensive. Because let's say don't, don't, stop. don't stop. Sorry, Jess, we just got like crazy hits in a row there. Please continue. Okay, but you know what I said, right? Yeah, you're saying some of the cards on here are theoretically worth more than IRL. Um let's yeah. say that um, if one code corresponds to one pack and each pack is like maybe three or four dollars mm -hmm. and for a pokemon that you need to get 10 codes for that would be like 30 dollars yeah well it's not valued that way though the but codes I'm, are valued, like, if it was valued like that in real life right yeah like if you had to make a comparison like well it's suiting like if you were hunting rayquaza at the time gx rays were 30 dollars and then say it took you know, 10 packs equivalent to get that. That's what it would cost. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Three golds, an energy, and a full art supporter in a short time are probably going to be on a bit of a dry spell here. Oh, yeah. I think you called that one. For Shoot. example, how much, um, how many codes do you, um, do our Jirachis worth? About uh, 25 minimum, much. 25 yeah. to 35. Saw the ho-ho. Jirachis are a lot of codes. Well, with that oh, same yeah. logic, Jirachi would be worth over $100 in the online game. So what's the Ultra Crosma deck for online? A lot. Mm-hmm. If you see any of those in the wild, man, and this goes to anybody listening as well, just buy them. You can't lose money on them. I said this when they first came out, and I bought a case of them. Yeah, those codes are just about... The codes that come with two Jirachis out of the Ultra Necrozma box, those are just value. Straight advice, remember. On the internet. <laughs> it, no, it is advice. It is. I'm just saying, you can't tell people to do stuff because if they do it... Either, if you see those $20 Ultra Necrozma boxes just that's laying fine. around Walmart or anywhere... It creates, creates good content. See the muck. Buy it. It does. We sure didn't because they all opened Take up. Take my word for it before I ruin your shirt. You can still find them. <laughs> and if you can still find them for 20 bucks, Not a monster, you could Jesus. Remember what I said about not very many mucks? Oh, 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 yeah, the Mutt Brigade came in. Got two in a row. Yeah, but if you if you find the Jirachi boxes, they're 
more no, of I'm them. I'm not gonna say any names. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna Guardy. say any names, but we. <laughs> They thought it would, they thought it'd be a good idea to uh, individually sell the cards instead of the whole set. Oh yeah, our uh, yeah. our home store. See the thing. That's my. Oh, yeah, that they was a uh, that was a pretty crappy thing for them to do to our local players. So that's why I've never seen or heard of it before. The ultimate necrosma. Yeah, because oh, you've never even seen them. Hmm. I don't think so. It, me and it came out the same time as the one with Rayquaza and um, like the Tapu Coco Prism and stuff, but the other one was just way better. It came with two Ultra Necrozma. You got two Malamars, two Jirachis. You got pretty. If you bought two of them, you had the whole deck, and they were twenty. I actually got the the Rayquaza, Rayquaza one. So that's because No Limit was selling had, those. Too. We're not, getting, we're not getting into that. We're not getting into that. But yes, NLG was only selling the the uh, Rayquaza ones. And they... Um, okay, that makes sense. They ended up doing something else with the... The Cosmo um, ones. Guys, lay down! No, you gotta blow into it. Lay down! Because of the value of the cards. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, right now, like I said, if you were to find them, uh -oh. the, re the retail value of all the cards in there is well over what you would pay for, like, MSRP. And if you play online, you get the code, too. So Yeah, so if you get the code and you don't need the stuff online, I mean, that's essentially just 50 packs for, you know, 20 bucks. So I think it gives you two Jirachi. Yep. It should give you the whole deck. So two Necrozma, two Jirachi, two Malamar, two Giratina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a dark time on PGCGO when those were first being opened up. And you got treasure. <laughs> yeah, those are the best up, The ladder was nothing but Malamar. They are being sold for $65 at, online at Walmart. Yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. they're not actually through Walmart. It's a second. It's a secondary person who's selling them through a Walmart store. Yeah, I know. You can still find them, though, in stores for their original MR, M MRSP if you're lucky. See the dark cry. Only five dark cry, buddy. You better pick it up. You got ten Noivrens, though. Or twenty Noivrens. Ten or twenty. Well, we've gotten seven this time. The Noivrens just haven't really been trading. <clears throat> Ooh, we pulled hot there for a minute. Yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, Plumeria. Nice. Well, Bobbert, I think your 250 is going to get... can't trade those things, though. For some reason, nobody wants them. No ever. Twenty-one of them. Yep. I tell you what would be fun is to do a big pack opening of not this set or even the next two sets. Just find a set that, you know, we really, really want. And then just save up and just buy a couple cases. Maybe between even like the, the four of us. Like a bunch of plasma trees, you're saying? What? No, no. no. A few <laughs> a future set. So we can get the physical cards and the online cards. Yeah, so if we do like a thousand packs and we can get a thousand packs for say two twenty five a piece or something like that. 
Oh, I got you. What? This is stuck. She's stuck. Yeah. What does that but mean? Where? Well, I see the marshmallow. I think it'd be a lot more than that because you only get. She's not stuck. Three hundred some on packs and a case. No, she's not stuck. She's pretending to be stuck. No. She did this the last time. You get how many packs you get in a case again? What's that math? Uh, one hundred eighty-six times one hundred sixty-six. Two hundred sixteen. So one hundred ninety-six packs in a case. What? That's 196 packs in a case, right? Let's see. 36 times 6 is, I think, 216. Robert, Robert listen. Oh, it's 216. Every, no, that's every, right. pack, every pack? I, I know, Brian. You're about to do it. Like how, how does that work? <laughs> how I, I want to hear your reasoning behind that. Yeah, I want to know how 216, you've got 196 feasible packs out of when I said 216. Tell the math. Show the math. I just did. I just did the math wrong. I'm not that great. Brian, at math. Get him. Tell him. Show the math. It, it ain't that hard. I mean, I did it in my head and it was wrong. Anyway, just put it in your, just put it in your calculator. I mean, it's show the math. I don't All use right. a calculator. But anyway, what I was saying though is, um, <laughs> it'd be a lot more than two twenty-five a piece. I'd say to get a thousand packs. That's like five cases. Well, I'm saying two twenty-five a pack. Like two dollars and twenty five cents a pack when you break it down. If we can get them oh. for like that, that'd be. I think that'd be reasonable. It'd be two thousand two hundred and fifty bucks to buy. You know, split between four people. All right, I've reached the halfway point of my two fifty. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that I mean, then we could put in a thousand codes online too, and either trade or open them. A brand new set like Rebel Clash, especially. Not that you know, I don't. I don't really have a lot of interest in buying that set physically. I just got to get the low mm -hmm. rarity cards I need. But uh, like, if we get a great set here in the next couple sets, that'd be a good idea. Mm-hmm. This would have been a good one to do had there been uh here's our Rainbow Salazzle. This would have been a good one to do with like the boss's orders and scoop up nets and everything in it. Yeah, but it's especially a brand new set, it's just so much better to just trade the packs. Yeah, it is. Hey Sorolo. Yeah, Jeez, man, you got you got the win here for sure. I don't, I don't think so. You know, Ace Arolas are only worth three sword and shield. No, no, I mean just like in our little game. I'm pretty sure you got the dub. No, Jess is still annihilating me and Brian both. Are they? After all those support floor supporters you just pulled? And the hypers? I only got one hyper. Brian got five. Oh. I got one hyper, three full art supporters, three golds, and one secret energy. See, Finny. Other than the dark energy, what else did I get? You got a full art Acerola, a full art Sophocles. And a rainbow, a rainbow Bulu, a rainbow Necrozma, and a rainbow Machamp. I see the full art Machamp. Oh, here's okay. something I want to talk about. Uh, it is. You and uh, Darian. Oh, and two gold rescue stretcher. So you did really good. What's up, Brian? I didn't hear anything back of how you did on uh, your weekend lumen. Oh, yeah. I was wondering how you did on that. We didn't. We oh, didn't. yeah. We were apparently, um, no. I don't know. I don't know what went wrong. We didn't, we didn't qualify make it for in. the qualifier. See the full art. Uh, so you, weren't, you weren't ready to play at all? No, they said they were going to cut off registration. Well, of course, listen, 
from what I can get, they were going to cut off registration around six or six thirty in the morning for us. Two hours, which is two hours before the event was supposed to start. But me and Bobber went in there about ten, eleven o'clock on our time, and it was already closed. So that would put it closed eight, eight hours, seven, eight hours before they said they would even close it from the two-hour mark. See the Charizard. Hmm. So I don't know if we just did something. You had wrong. all that time to get ready for it. And you didn't sign up for it. Well, we it was... had a lot. We had a lot going on those few days, man. Yeah. It takes like five minutes. Well, it was. It wasn't necessarily a lot going on in that. It was just getting together to finalize a deck, because uh, mm -hmm. I made I made a Zacian, uh Lumel deck. I'm sure you guys have played Darien with it. Same I style. Uh, I built that deck and. We just we tweaked it like two cards so far in it, and it's it's. We just... were trying to make sure our deck was ready for the qualifier, but and by the time we were confident in it to register, it was just already closed. Yeah, so we'll just we'll just run it next time. But the problem is, we have to tech it to beat Mill now, and I think the only way to really beat Mill is to run the Stinger, the Stinger GX play. ADP Zacian with like gusting effects. Uh, we're not gonna beat Mill with that deck. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah, well, I heard that they were having problems with the tournament. Also, maybe uh, they had some problems, but they actually finished it, which is much better than they did the first try. So yeah. I would what, say the next time. What, what were they, some like, of the happened? Like it happened like halfway through and just like kind of quit happening. So what yeah, I don't happens? know. I think there was issues with the people that they were partnered with. Uh, it happened. It happened with the other one too that they have to try. They tried it before and didn't. They could not get it to work. See the full art blue. Uh, basically, what happened was their servers just got basically just got overloaded with everyone on there at the same time. Yeah, and it just kind of pooped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. All right, kids. Here it is. We are officially two thirds of the way done, rounding rounding up on the three thirty four. See them. All right. See them across. Yeah, the qualifiers are definitely neat. Um, I hope for the future of the game that Pokemon Company keeps working on their online system and for you know perfecting it and having like tournament. They could have weekly like cups on here that you can just opt to play in. They can have weekly league challenges. You know, they could have all of that stuff. Like you, they could have daily. They could daily if they really wanted to. Well, it'd be great if there are a way to get your points online. Yeah, it would open up a whole new world to people. And Pokemon's definitely a company. They have the money to to do that. Oh yeah. Imagine, imagine doing regionals online. Let's talk about it. I'm actually kind of, kind of got passion about this here in my head. Imagine doing, uh, imagine doing uh, regionals where you sign up online. Obviously, your player ID is already connected to your account, and all you got to do is just register the deck you're playing, and then they they lock it to where you can't change it for that tournament. That's not hard to do, but you can get like special promos online. I think See the full art for any? like do do like um do like seasonal promos for like you know the four seasons of, you know the year like break it into three months apiece. So for the first three months of regionals, you get this promo a, a play set of the promo and maybe like a deck box or a coin or something. See the goals. And then still give out the same prizing when you win. You can uh, you can opt for only you can opt for money. Or you can opt for like packs to have online, or give out packs for their prize. 
so like say you know um top 16 gets two boxes and uh 500 bucks so they'll give you 500 dollars cash and then maybe um 72 packs online or or something along those lines yeah but for that for that to happen though like not to, not to i don't think that is the idea i like the idea it's just it's just not going to happen though because this is how online is it's just not... oh i i know i know the thing is when you start adding prizes and stuff like that you know it, it causes a lot of other other issues like the uh the issues we don't like to think about you know people cheating by doing things they shouldn't be doing but you know if if dark, huh? but if hearthstone can get through it and magic the gathering can get through it and Yu-Gi-Oh can too pokemon would be able to figure out a way to solve now it. here's the one thing um that i can think of for nintendo why it would not be a good idea to do that it it's because unlike magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon is targeted more towards children. Or well, those games are too. Well, I think I think they know their audience by now. Yes. Well, Pokemon also, definitely targeted towards children. I would say Magic, magic teenagers. No. Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, yeah. Still Yu-Gi-Oh. no. Yu-Gi-Oh! is targeted towards kids. I mean, like, if we're talking about marketing uh, here, my guy, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! is still targeted towards kids 7+, plus, Pokemon's kids, you know, 5+, plus, and then Magic the Gathering is more uh, targeted towards 10+. Plus. Mm-hmm. But Pokemon as a franchise but you know the, you know the one thing. has been... What the hell are you doing? Been, for children. Logan, well, come on. So it wouldn't be a very good marketing ploy to do that for Nintendo. Well, I mean, they have a junior, seniors, and master's division, so yeah, they would be in their own division. I mean, just, just think about it. How many kids do you see, like when you go to regional, like how many kids do you see compared to adults? I understand that, but yeah. I'm saying people, there. it's just a lawsuit waiting to happen. I can just it already well i mean there there is and there's not i'm telling you if there's there's a wick thick wick i don't i don't know i i can see where jessica's coming from but like if if hearthstone can do it and magic the gathering and all these other online programs even konami's got their own that are, and it's all targeted towards kids like these apps. Just trust me, they, Pokemon can figure out a way to do it. Especially since Pokemon has a juniors and a, and a seniors division. Like, it would keep it would keep all that stuff away from... It would keep the adults separated from the kids, like at the regionals, like real life. Like, where, where do you see the lawsuit, like a lawsuit coming in? Because I'm... I, I could see maybe how, but it would... It would have to be something really wild. I'm here. Let me explain. Sure. There are a lot of religious fanatics and who are extremely against gambling and anything that even resembles gambling, even even bingo, they will consider as gambling just so giving. So um, if they see that okay. they're giving out prizes to children, like actual money to children, Mm-hmm. Online, that's not going to look. Well, good. you you don't you don't give. Pokemon doesn't give money to children. They give scholarships. Pokemon gives kids scholarships. They don't give money. I just said that, Bobber. Yeah, they don't they don't give them money in real life either. They would I all know, but scholarships. I'm saying, like, in, if you did that online, like. Yeah, you give a kid a scholarship for winning. It'll still be the same thing. Yeah, you give them a $1,000 scholarship if they get second and a $4,000 scholarship for first or whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with with giving money, but I know that there are people See the that are like that. It's, it's not money. People it's a scholarship. sue them. 
Now you're learning. You're learning. They scatter like flies, bro. All right. You know, honestly, I'd, I'd rather just take a scholarship instead. What's that? I'm Me on. too. Nah, I take the money. I'm already in school. I'll just take money. I'm going to pay off my debt. If I was going back to school, I would uh, take the scholarship. Why not? Three more packs. Or not more than that. Twenty. Three more packs. Sounds about right. But anyways, you know, outside of that, I, I think it'd be a very good idea. Then, then you could, um, if you ran weekly, weekly cups, and maybe certain days you ran Sunday challenges. I, I think it'd be great. I mean, personally, and I think they could do it. It's just the amount of effort they want to put into it. And it's pretty clear they don't put a lot of effort into the online game and um, the software. For the online game. Oh, they'd have to fix a lot. Oh, yeah. The software... Let's see. Let's talk about the, the software itself is not terrible. It's flawless. It's, Remember that one guy said it's the best he's ever seen. Yeah, he is. See the exactly. it's, it's not flawless. It's not perfect, but it's it's pretty good. It's It's just like every other game they have bugs and issues but they don't do what other games do like with hearthstone when there's a problem with a card it just gets shut off sometimes they do do that on here but a lot of the time it, it doesn't and they it takes them to a lot of times something's not acting right well something's not acting completely right yeah but it takes them till the next update, which is three weeks, to fix it, usually. There's actually a weird little glitch going on on PTCGO right now. It doesn't affect gameplay or anything, but I don't know if and when it'll, it'll get fixed. But... Thing. No, no, no. Well, that too. But there's another... I see the noise. There's another... What's that? When I go into the collection, our collection, and I look at, like, um, our blend energies... Mm -hmm. from uh call uh Dra dragons exalted that set the rev and the and the and the regular look exactly the same like the rev pattern is gone huh hey Lord, Lucy, yo boy right towards the end too i have a few complaints about the um the tcg online software oh yeah so do i oh here we I go should never open. What that's do a I good not like about online there, let's, let's just I should never open up a the den, mm -hmm. two fiery flint, four fire, and a fire crystal. All right, that's what we'll talk about. Everybody will have their turn. What If you could change one thing on Pokemon Online, what would it be? And we'll start with Brian, and then Jess, and then Darian, and then me. If I could change one thing, one it, thing. I think you can... I think y'all, you can all agree on this. It's the shuffling on, on their online and it's the organization in general. Because online, there is a lot of times where I could think, hmm, if I actually shuffle my deck, I wouldn't be drawing these hands that I wouldn't get it online. Mm, and it's random, right? It, it's it's too random for its own good. It, it sounds it sounds silly, but it's actually true. There's math that like, supports it. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, but it, it just doesn't. It's not. It's not realistic, Brian. No, know. there's math that supports it being too random. Is what yeah, I'm saying. It's not going to be, but. You know, okay, I have just, like with me, with me trying to play like. Uh, say I'm playing like stuff on something. Okay, I'll either one, draw See all my problem. energy for starting my game and I lose immediately, or two. I draw everything else but the energy I need. And tune across, Mora. All right, this is mine now. My half of three. Me. I just start something like I always start my tech or something like a Mew. That I never want to start with, or like a Mewtwo, or like a Mewtwo and Mew. My three prizes I don't want to start out well with, and it's just kind of stuck there on the board. When we just have like four Jirachi in my deck, that should be like, or the four Persephone I have in my deck, or the four Purple I have in my deck. Mm-hmm. 
it just doesn't really make a lot of sense. I don't know. My, my little rant's over now. Keep going back. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we can we can talk about what Brian said. Yeah, the randomization online is uh, it it's too random. It real it's it's true randomness, which you cannot get in real life. There's always some kind of. I mean, I hate to say it, like, there's always some human error that adds randomization to in a way. Like if you have a bad, like if you have four Jirachi, four Blounds, and a Mew in your deck. It seems more often than not you do start the Mew, but in the same case, you only have nine basics, so mm, you know starting the Mew is not bad. But furthering from that, I'll just give but, an example on that. Yeah, no, no, you're right, Brian. There's there's nothing wrong with that. But furthering that, there's problems in the deck where if you run twelve fire energy, the deck like statistically does every draw. I think this is the, my best example. I I don't know, but I think every draw it. It, it calculates the chances of drawing that card. So, like, if you have 10 fire energies in a 50-card deck, there is a chance, It's there's a better chance that you draw a fire energy out of all those cards instead of one in, you know, one in five on the initial draw. Does that, does that make sense? I think is, is where Brian's going with that. And that's just... I've actually like, noticed It does, that... but... Well, one thing does, that is I, I, I pretty much... Like... I shouldn't have to Sycamore and, and draw seven fire. That just doesn't happen. I will tell you that has actually happened to me in real life, but only because I didn't know how to shuffle my it deck. It doesn't happen mm -hmm. as much as in real life as it does online. In real life, the best way to shuffle is pile shuffle. I think uh, pile shuffling is banned in Magic. I don't think you're allowed to do it no more. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But, like, it's yeah. so random. Well, because it randomizes your deck so well that it's it's um, it's um unfair. Like, it, it's not true, like, shuffling, like, side shuffling and bridging. It actually takes card for card and shuffles it up. So that way everything is... There's a thing oh. called mana stacking in Magic. Yeah. There, yeah, that too, Brian. Well, it's also pretty much proven that if you edit a deck in PTCGO, and there's so many people who can attest for this, if you edit a deck and you go and play it on the ladder, more often than not, you will start the cards that you just put in the deck. Or if you put if you just put in a tech for something, you'll start it in your hand. Or I've it never had that card. happen. Huh? I don't think I've ever had that happen. It happens to a lot of people. I don't know. I, uh, I've i seen it happen to us a couple times, but I don't know anybody else that's had an issue with it. But anyways, Brian said what he would change. Um, let's try to keep it different now that we've talked about that. Uh, Jess, what would you change? So this doesn't have any... It's more of like the aesthetics look of it. Mm -hmm. Something that really bothers me is that it's remained the same. I've had my account since 2011, it looks exactly the same as it did then. Also, the characters customization is very bad. Like, see the swazzle. It's just not very good, and it could definitely be a lot better. It's see the dumbbells. It's really confusing why hmm. there isn't a whole lot of customization i don't know yeah i get that like the avatar is kind of lame i think it's just because it's supposed to be simplistic yeah i think so too it's one of those things if it's not broken don't fix it most of the time okay uh, guardy and just one refute there jessica um they recently changed how it looks when you play they changed that just a couple yeah, I was going to say. I'm not going right to be satisfied until I'm allowed to have long hair in the game. Mm -mm. <laughs> can't do it. But you can have long hair. You can have long Zorark hair. Yeah, go get the crazy Zorark blonde hair. The Super Saiyan hair. No, I said long. L O N G. 
Yeah, oh, it is long. It is long. It's and it's long. Blonde. It's long and blonde. That's why I said that the long blonde Zorark hair, the Super Saiyan hair. Okay. See more shadow. Yeah, that's just something that really bothers me. And also the, like I said before, how it looks exactly the same as it did ten years ago. Yeah, most games do update their system more often than not for um, different aesthetics. That's all. Okay. Uh, Robert? Um, I'm really sick of winning like nine, ten games in a row. And then it really just seems what like I see the Neuver. It really seems like PTCGO forces you to lose. I don't know, man. There's like, Even the greats lose. You know what I mean? No, I mean, you'll start a hand that's literally unplayable. I think that just goes back to the randomization problem. It seems to be stacked against you the more wins you have. Um, hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how to respond to that, honestly. Just my experience. And, like... One thing that, um, like, kind of unique to what uh, nothing like something like nothing anybody else has already said is, as I know, it has a thing to do with multiple servers, but I wish the trading system was with what I wish the trading system was a lot faster than it is, as far as like loading everything, it's so no. slow. Yeah, no, I get that, it can take that, that it can was, take up to three minutes. To load a card that there's literally only one of for trade. Well, we're supposed to do one each. That was going to be what I was going to say was the trade system. But we can we can talk about it now since you already brought it up. Well, I was just saying something that wasn't like something anybody else said. Because my first point was the randomization. Right, that's what I mean. I was saying just one thing you could change. Just one. But it's okay. It's never good. Hey, guys. I don't want to, like, interrupt, but... I'm going to be heading off. All right. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Okay, Brian. Yeah, we only we only got like 190 more to do. So we're almost done. Yeah, cool. Well, it's getting kind of late for me, and I got to get up in the morning. So I'll talk yeah, to you he, guys in the morning. He's got to go. Okay. okay. That's understandable. All right. Have a good night, man. Yeah, you too. Good night. Go to sleep. Good night. See you the monk. You've been so good all day. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say is that the trading system, if it could just be a little a little more smooth, I guess that's, that's all I could ask for. Mark, you're still due two secret energy. Yeah, no kidding. Let's, uh, let's the get is, right? energy. Uh, there's one wow. I'm just like thinking about if we do get one more energy, what it would take to get 10 of each energy. It'd take, geez, 40, 50,000 codes. Just trying to pull them? Yes. Yeah. You'd probably be sitting here opening packs for three or four days straight. Well, that's just, you know, that's kind of wild to think about is, it say it takes on average 300 packs. Oh, look at that. Wow. Losey. Just on average, you know, it takes 300 packs to get one of these things. That's yeah. That's just wild. Something that I run into with the trading system is oh, um, when I'm if I see a trade that I want to you know click on mm -hmm. to be more details about since it keeps loading it'll um, it'll just um, keep loading and then it, it'll change spots does that make sense on the screen oh so yeah I'll accidentally no. yeah. With it all the time yes yeah. yeah yeah that's that's one of the issues I mean I guess we should have went more into it but yeah that's one of the just the 
one of the many issues their their trading thing has is the refresh rate on it 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 doesn't it refreshes the whole thing instead of just loading from the bottom so you always end up misclicking like if you see a really good trade you want to snag Well, there's only three rainbows we haven't pulled in this, just this thousand. Easy now. There are also people who will make ridiculous requests. Yes, well, oh, well that's just people trying to, that's just people know, trying to screw people it's over. Just, it's just people. Mm-hmm. That's people trying to take advantage of people who don't know what their stuff's worth. Yeah. Well, that's that was the one thing I thought. Well, we talked about that uh, last week, Dan. I don't like that because if you get a get a kid that doesn't know what they have on there, and like you put up one of the big Pokemon's, like say you put up a Pika Rom, right? And then, but they have like a Dark Energy and like say a Hyper, uh, say just like a, a really expensive Hyper, like um trying to think of one right like a hyper 80 well, the one i kept seeing was it was a picarom and then but they wanted a secret rare fire and like a common evolution incense right but to a kid there th that might look like it's just a regular fire yeah they get excited because yeah. they they see it it's like a really good trade for them and then they ended up losing their fire energy or or something like that anybody not just kids just anybody but there's no way to really control that. Um, I play RuneScape, and they did like a, a trade limit kind of kind of deal where you couldn't have that big of a difference in trading, and that just ended up not working out as well as it it should have. Too bad venting anger isn't good anymore. Uh, tons of them. Venting anger. See the finny. See the guardy. Well, we actually got through these uh, fairly quick tonight. Even yeah. Break. Jess, how long have you been playing Pokemon? In general. Yeah. Just I mean, like card game, I guess. Oh, the card game. Um. Well. I've had my account for quite a long time, but I don't really, I didn't really start playing um, seriously or competitively, I guess, until like a year ago. Mm hmm. See the uh -oh. about a year ago. What What made you want to get more competitively involved? Honestly, I just wanted. Um, I was just sick of not having friends that hey. like, oh like there we go. Ooh, that's a, so, that's a good one. That's a, that's and a good I saw bit. that there was a really big um TCG community in the area, so hmm. yeah, Ohio, let's see, Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, Kentucky, and uh, Pennsylvania are all just very densely populated out of all the Pokemon, you know, players for competitive play. Very dense. Most of the best players live in Indiana and Florida. Ooh, who would ever live in Florida? Oh, look at there. that. Oh, Full Art Guardy. Nice. That's only our second one in nearly 20, 2,300 packs. Oh, and it looks the best, too. But I'm really glad that I did. Yeah, no, I mean, I always tell everybody, if there's a game that you want to play and you want a good community, Poke Pokemon is the way. I don't know how many times I've said it and how many videos to how many people, but Pokemon has what I call the community. Yeah. Well, yeah, compared to years, I mean, 
years is an understatement. I played Yu-Gi-Oh from the time I was, well, competitively, not that long, but I played the card game from the time I was like five to before mm-hmm. the cards were even out in English. Hey. Oh, old Super Scoop Up. Nice. Come on. Do you think I can get the choice, man? Can I, can I break the spell? If you get the band, we That's pulled right. everything. You're right. But continue. But, um, yeah, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! for an obscenely long time, for as old as I am, <laughs> which isn't very old. And, uh, yeah, in just three years of Pokemon, I've literally told Mark, I don't know how many times, I wish I would have put all of that time into Pokemon instead. Because by now, I could probably be at least a semi-professional player, if not a professional player, if I would have put those 15 years into Pokemon instead of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. I I envy, in a, in a, and this is in a good way, I envy the kids who get to play for scholarship money now. I think that's awesome. Yeah, because, like, I could have done that maybe in middle school or high school. Well, now, they didn't have those back then, I don't think. It was, I think it was just trophies. Mm. But I'm saying now, like, as a kid, if if I could get Daniel into it or something like that or whatever, I would definitely, definitely like that. Twenty-eight, okay. Because um, I was raised in a very competitive home. My uh, my dad is a very competitive player when it comes to anything. See the guardy. Let's see, Jess. What a oh, I got a I got a question for you. What we talked about like some of the biggest like your biggest accop- uh, accomplishments or things you've done in Pokemon, but. What competitive wise, what is the first thing that you want to accomplish? Do you want to top? Do you want to get first place at a, a challenge? Are you trying to top eight a league cup? You trying to date to a regional? What What is that? Would you would feel like I finally got to where I want to be and I can go further? You mean a, kind of like a goal? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Like what's a what's your first like stepping stone towards your goal? Like your first. Milestone is a better. Yeah, what what would break the ice to saying that I can do this? Well, with friendship, anything is possible, right? Yeah, the power, the power of friendship. Power of friendship. Oh yeah, watch enough Yu-Gi-Oh to know that. Yeah. (laughs) Honestly, um, just. This is going to sound really stupid. No, it's not. It's not stupid. But when you have the support of your friends, you can pretty much do anything. Like, I feel that. Yeah. There's a there's an unseen force from from the people that you you know you love and you care about that you know when they support you it it really does help. I see that across me. It's a mental thing. Um, yeah, as long as I have support from other people, then I think okay. that I'd still feel motivated. Well, I know, I know. It's not a mo- it's not a, a question. What would you like to do competitively, though? Like, what would be like the first step for you in your competitive like Pokemon career? Like, what would you like to accomplish first? See the guardy. I'd like to go to a regional, maybe. Okay. Oh, so you haven't you haven't been to our regional yet? No, I have not. She, I, oh, okay. I think she's told us that. That's why she was going to go with us. I, I, yeah, that's right. I, I, it has just slipped my mind. Yeah, going to your first regional is a big step. Why'd you give me the face? Oh yes. All oh, hail the great Swami. Lumeria. Oh, it's terrible. This is this is this is two and a half hours of commentary, man. 
commentary. It's terrible. Of course no, it's going to be. I mean, like... It's winning so far. Fine. I get you guys with that. Um... I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Mark's doing really good. You did really good. I did pretty good. Brian got a lot of hypers, but to be honest, that's not see the noivern. That's kind of for this challenge, kind of a week. Yeah. Well, maybe she'll find a boyfriend. Let's see. Like, don't let them on here with you no more. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I mean, it's cool to right. get them and they trade. If they actually did but, uh, any of this, it the energies and the golds yeah. and like I the better like, full art supporters are the ones that. I know. I sure as hell would. Really push it, and since I you and Mark too. both have a dark, I probably wouldn't care. But like, well, we'll just have to see. Be like, I don't want to see people bitch no more. Alright, I have to. But I got three different golds and a secret. Ooh. So, but I did get the scoop up in the dark. You did. I did what no mere mortal could do. I mean, but, my golds were... I mean, the only two really, really good golds in this set are Stretcher and, and Choice Band. See the Salazzle. Yeah, just got two Stretcher. That's off the wall. Yeah, so I would say currently you're still winning. Which, if he quits focusing on that Ratata, oh yeah, that's our man. Played a bunch of stuff online today too. What for? I heard about it on the radio. Yeah. Did they? Yeah, my Snoop Dogg had a big thing. Oh yeah, dude, this is Snoop's holiday. I missed it. Disgusting vile plume. Disgusting pollen vile plumes are really good to get too. When, oh, there we go. Oh, Secret fire. Look All at right. that. Look okay, at well, now Mark's winning. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Paid off it. That's four out of a thousand again. I feel like that's really good. That's I, the same amount we got in the other thousand. I know. Can I dare ask for one more? It'd be cool. Even if it's a fairy. Yeah, I think I just... What, we had a fire... We had a fire... Two dark or a dark and a fairy. Mm, two two darks, a fire and a fairy. Yep. So far, yeah, two darks, a fire and a fairy. And the other day was three fires and one dark. Wow. I'll take How two. How rare are they in in like real life? Just uh, about this rare. Yeah, you only got one about every case. You might get. It was weird. It was like you get one a case and maybe two a case, and then there would be cases where you got none, and then there'd be one, and then it was it was spread out. I I think the actual ratio of the secret energies was one every. Uh, see the golly! It was one every few hundred packs, I think. Yeah. Just like on here, about one every two hundred, two fifty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is why they're expensive. Yes. Oh my yes. god! Oh my gosh! Nice. I did dare ask for one more. Oh man. How what? much more you got? Um, just a few. Eight. All right. Well, Mark wins. <laughs> I uh, I'll take that dub, kids. Oh man, that is uh Dark Eye. Nice. Well No more arguing after that. Well you can't see it, but I'm smiling. Oh I am too. I'm ear to ear. I can see it. That raises Wait, a lot of you're questions. You're looking at me? It raises a lot of questions. No. Oh no. I'm just kidding. I have my camera turned off. Oh. oh yeah, that okay. This this thousand is already twice yeah. as good as the thousand from the other day. Yeah, all we had to do is just manually insert codes for two hours straight. You had to do that all. You had to. No, no. All I in all, physically scan them. No, nah, all in all, Mark's done more of the code work. I did the first five hundred. What's up, babe? And then I was going to help with the next thousand, but he just got him. I got you like, like, in the trash. And then so you actually skipped. scanned a thousand codes. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Wow. I, I think I did. 
I think I did all 2,000. You did all of these 2,000, yeah. But the, the other 1,000 were right-click, copy-paste. See the dark cry? Yeah, they were, but it st still doesn't mean it was any easier. No, are you kidding me? That's harder than scanning. See the slazzle? Yeah, the, the system me and you have set up to scan right here is, I think it's about as perfect as it can get. Yeah. <clears throat> and Jess, if you... Jess, if you need any of these commons, like any of these, we will give these to you. Like I was going to ask that. I was going to ask what you did with the commons. We, like, we can give you four of all this. If you want four of everything from Burning Shadows, they're yours. Like, awesome. if you need Guzmas, Acerolas, whatever you need, you can have for them. I'm not going to sweat it. The commons and uncommons? No, we don't care. Now, I mean, I, I think we could, if you really wanted to, we can swing you a GX of regular of each one in here. I wouldn't mind that. That'd be more up to Darian. See the golly. Yeah, I don't really care. Yeah, I mean, what is it? Maybe equivalent of five packs at best. That'd be very generous. Ooh, Thank ooh, you. Another Rainbow Guardian. Or full oh, come on. I want Choice Band, though. A gold, gold Band at, at everything. If we get the Gold Band, that would be phenomenal. I'll take the energy over the band, but I want to see, the Gold Band would, would make me happy in terms of completion, but the energy would just... Ooh, that's really what we want. Oh, Brian missed the fire at the end here, didn't he? Mm-hmm. You know what's he really, maybe what's really maybe crazy? He adjusted his ass. You know what's really crazy? What's that? In just this thousand, there's only five cards out of the set we haven't gotten. Ooh, wow. What were you saying, Jess? I'm sorry. Oh, what was that? I thought you were trying to say something. I know, but yeah, um, I didn't hear what you said before. See you then, Crosma. Yo, honey. Hey, can you do me a favor? Brian just mess messaged that uh, Kim Jong Un may be dead. Can you look into that real fast? That's like big news. Like, okay, I'm gonna pausing this. Like, yeah, this uh, this thousand's been fire. Yeah, there's only three rainbows, one full art, and the one gold that we haven't pulled in just this thousand. See the mug. See the hoe. Forty-five packs left. Come on, gold choice fan. Yeah, I'm rooting for the band, but I just want the energy. Yeah, it'd just be cool to say we got everything, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'd much rather take another dark energy. Oh yeah, another dark. Oh. Don't even don't even play. Yeah, double Rhyperior. Toppling wall. Oh, I see him. I see him. Um, if a card comes, Jessica, um well, sorry, every card does. Um but if it comes hollow rare and and uh, would you rather have the hollow rare or the reverse? Right. I don't really have a preference. Okay. Well, we'll just probably give you the the hollow rare then. Okay. What's up? Rumors he may be in fragile condition after a surgery. As of twenty minutes ago, and it I don't know if it'll get done tonight, but I'll get it done here in the next couple of days. Okay. 
I'll, okay. I'll talk to you about it in a second, okay? Kendra. How many warm packs do we have left? About 30. 30. Just 30? Yep. Yes. We, uh, we got that done in a good time tonight, I think. Not champ. <laughs> And at the end, I'll do a, a recap. Yeah, you can. we can do the normal recap, and then we'll say our goodbyes, and we will forever retire Burning Shadows. That's it? Uh, you never know. I don't think anybody can handle another 1,000-pack video, man. That's it for now. We'll say that. Sure. We'll get I, the rest of the secret energies through yeah. just trading packs. You know I'll get more if I can ever find a good deal on them. Yeah. Oh, I'm not expecting anything out of these last 25 packs, by the way. Hey, we could get something, though. I just want it to be Choice Fan. I don't want it to be Choice Fan. It needs to be dark, but... We got three dark and a thousand, bud. That's insane. Oh, yeah. Actually, darks are, what, 50 right now? Yeah. Wow. 50 packs? 50 yeah. sword and shield. Yeah. Well, I mean, you see how hard they are to pull. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see, and like, just... Aside from these four, I've only... We've only ever had one other Secret Dark. Yeah. That I just pulled out of a rando Burning Shadows one time, and we traded it because we needed stuff. Yeah, at the time, we were just trying to fill out everything low rarity. Had we had just started this account, high rarity, we would have had a lot easier time. Yeah, but... It's just hard to do. But in some stuff, it doesn't matter. Like, uh, the difference in packs. Like, if you want to play a regular art, a full art, and a hyper Mars Shadow from this set, the difference is just a few packs, usually. Yeah, it's, it's not much. Oh, Rainbow Northern. Okay. Hmm. That means the only cards in this set in just these thousand packs that we haven't pulled is Rainbow Charizard, Full Art Marshadow, Rainbow Tapu Finny, and Gold Choice Band. Wow. What well, that is a fire thousand. In, in all fairness, any of those other golds that we got, gold items, could have been the band there too. Could have, yeah. We got two two dumbbells. Yeah. Or two dumbbells, two stretcher, any one of those could have been You get that char. Yeah. All right. We got four more. Last four. RNG gods have been kind to us tonight. Yes, they have. Okay, Darren, go ahead and get that tally up, please. All Let's right, one more. One. All right. Yep, that concludes everything there. Uh, we'll um, we'll leave this we'll leave this page open here. Actually, so Mark yeah. wins. Yeah, Un unfortunately. Yeah, there's yeah, there's no way he doesn't. I'm sorry. <laughs>
Okay, Darren's going to get a total of everything that we've gotten. And we're going to say our goodbyes, and we'll catch you in the next video. Okay, well, as far as the competition, um, Jess got one dark energy. Brian got no energy. I got one fairy energy, but Mark got a fire energy and two dark energy. So Mark wins yeah. by a landslide. And as far as the totals, we ended up with seven regular art Alolan Muck, three full art, one rainbow rare, seven regular Charizards, no secrets, eight regular Darkrai, two full arts, uh, no secret, 12 regular Gardevoir, two full arts, one secret, 12 regular Golisopod, one full art, one secret. Eight regular art Ho-Oh, -Oh, two full arts. Seven regular art Machamps, two full arts, one secret. Nine regular art Marshadows, no full arts, one secret. Eight regular art Necrozma, two full arts, one secret. Eleven regular art Noiverns, two full arts, one secret. Nine regular art Salazzles, one full art, three secrets. Seven regular art Tapu Fini, one full art, no secrets. Uh, the Lycanroc, one full art and one secret. The Bulu, three full arts and one secret. We ended up with three full art Acerola, two full art Guzma, two full art Kiawe, three full art Plumeria, two full art Sophocles, one full art wick. Still zero gold choice bands. 2,470 packs. No gold band. But what can you do? Mm -mm -mm. One gold escape rope. One gold multi-switch. Two gold muscle dumbbells. Two gold rescue stretcher. One gold super scoop up. Three secret rare dark energies. Mm. Which that's, that's great. That is. One secret rare fairy and one secret rare fire. So that is the totals. Very good. All right, everybody. Uh, Jess, would you like to say goodbye? Jess, you there? Yes, sorry. Oh, oh you're good. I just want to let you, uh, we'll let you say goodbye. Then me and Darren are going to say the, our farewells. Yes. Goodbye, everyone. All right. Thanks for joining us, Jess. And um, Thank Robert? You for me. Oh, yeah. No problem, Jess. Uh, glad you could join us. It was a lot of fun. Alrighty, guys. Thanks so much for joining us for that one. That was really cool. We were only three cards shy of pulling all possible cards out of just a thousand packs. Mm -hmm. That's pretty crazy. It is. All right, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.